Print scaling is a way to fit all your pages into one or two pages by scaling down its font size. If you recall in the page break training video, when you manipulated your page breaks by going to the page break layout view, like for example down here in the lower right hand corner on the stat bar, when I hover over page break preview, if I click on the button it takes me to page break preview. And then over here I can click and drag the page breaks, which is defined by that dark blue line. If I click and drag it all the way off, down at the bottom here so there's just page one when I go ahead and I go to print preview it's going to scale this down so the font is not normally Arial size 10 it's actually trying to scale it down to maybe size seven and a half or seven so it can fit everything here onto one page for example click on office logo down to print and then come over and click on print preview there it is everything's on one page when I click on the center of the page to zoom in you can see the font is really tiny so I'm going to close out of print preview and I'm going to go back to the normal view so I'm going to come up here click on view and then click on normal view and then watch as I scroll up you see that little line dotted line right here as you recall that that's actually the page break meaning that the font is so small when you print this off that it can allow this page break where it used to be I think between J and K all the way out to column N and O also if you scroll down there's no other page breaking line which allows me to fit all this onto one page now if I'd like it back to the way it was where it actually broke normally at 100% with the font size of Arial 10 then you want to come up here and click on the page layout tab and then go over here and in the scale to fit group notice that it's scaling now at 72% not at 100% so it's trying to fit it everything that I have here onto one page now watch what happens when I go ahead and I scale this up from 72% back up to 100% this page break line is going to start coming in here and also a horizontal page break because when you scale it to 100% at the normal font size there's no way it can fit it all into one page so it starts bringing in the page breaks from vertically here up horizontally as well so I'm going to click it up once, twice, three times. You see how the vertical and horizontal page breaks are starting to come into play here. So now the font is scaled at 85%, not at 100%, so it can still fit the majority at a smaller font size on page one, but you can see it's starting to cut off now. So if I go all the way back up to 100%, you can see it's breaking here. Of course, it doesn't matter over on the right-hand side because I don't have any text bleeding over that page break. So the only page break I'm really going to see is um, between Scott and Michael here. To see it, click on the office logo to print, to print preview. I'm going to click on it to zoom out and then click on it to zoom in down at the bottom and there's Scott. And if I go to the next page up at the top, let me click on to zoom out, click on to zoom in, there's Michael. Pretty cool. So I can close out of here. And not only is the page break preview a place that you can go to click and drag your page breaks around to define if you want everything to fit on one page or two pages or add to or, or be able to manage your page breaks, you can also come up here to the scale to fit and say for the width I'd like everything to fit on one page and then for the height I'd like everything to also fit on one page. So again it gets rid of the page breaks and normally this fits on two pages but you can see the vertical break that was going to be here because I want everything to fit on one page got rid of it. And then the horizontal for the height got rid of as well because now it can fit everything back again to its scale of 72%. So when I go to my print preview, you'll see everything's on one page and there's no next page. So I'm going to go ahead and close out. You also have the expandable dialog box button here. You can do the same thing here but in a new screen in the page setup screen. You can adjust it to 100% again and not fit it to one page by one page tall and go back up to 100% and then click OK and your page breaks come zooming right back in. Or again if you click on this and you say one page by one page you can't scale it anymore. The only way you can do it is going back to automatic and then you can change the scale which again I want at a hundred percent and hit enter. So in conclusion if it's very imperative that you have everything fit onto one page you don't want two pages just know that your font size is going to grow smaller depending on how much you're trying to cram onto one page or two pages or three pages because you could have a 20 page spreadsheet that you're printing off and maybe you don't want on 20 pages you want it on nine if it doesn't fit on nine you can go to more pages and say look I want it to be 15 pages wide by 15 pages tall. Hey thanks for watching if you like my video please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly, and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.